Dr. Stella Okoli recently marked her 70th birthday in style with her family, friends, and well wishes all around her to wish her well. Well, matter of fact, got up close and personal with the septuagenarian and also captured her big day. Enjoy. <laughs> It's a well-planned party with a touch of class, which started off with a nice cocktail. And there comes the woman of the moment, founder of Angel Pharmaceuticals Industries Limited, Dr. Stella Okoli, looking all ganged up as usual, rocking her 70 looks. I turned 70 last week, but my mind is not a mind of, I just love life and enjoy myself. I don't know um, 70 or not 70, but having said that, 70, even in the Bible, is a year of perfection, you know, so. It's a very important year to attend. And I'm not taking it, you know, like I give God all the glory. And while they talk, hug, and exchange pleasantries over cocktail, they also take out time to feed their eyes with some great family pictures. Inside the hall of the Oriental Hotel, what greets you is a fabulous decoration with a theme celebrating a star. The cocktail session gave way for the main events, and guests moving to this well-decorated hall, anticipating a wonderful evening with the celebrant. It's a hall full of beautiful people celebrating with this woman who many say treads where others fear to being successful building a brand. Being a woman is even an advantage, you know, in business than being a man. Because as a woman, you're not distracted. You focus on your job. Men focus, but, but you must agree with me that they also have a lot that dis can distract them if they want it. Everybody has the same great, great matter, everybody. The 
event started proper with the opening prayers by the wife of the general overseer of Mountain and Fire and Miracle, Pastor Shade Olukoya. Father, we commit everything onto your holy hands from where we have started, where we are now, and as we go on in the program. We pray, Father, that you take preeminence, take control, take total charge, move and touch every life here today in the name of Jesus. And another twist to the celebration, the celebrant changes her outfit and makes this unexpected entrance. Dr. Okori did not disappoint in her style for the day. I'm a happy dresser. I dress to be happy and please myself. I don't dress for any other person. So if you think I'm dressing for you, so sorry. I'm dressing for myself because I've got a great A, I've got a great B, because that's what the type of life I will be. The long call of eminent people here to celebrate this great woman is endless. Some of them include Ide Ahaba of Asaba, Chief Sonny Odogu, and his wife Theresa, former governor of a number of states, Peter Obi, former deputy governor of a number of states, Mrs. Zorji Etiaba, the DG of NAFTAC, Mr. Paul Obahi, the MD CEO of Gadjan newspaper, Mrs. Maiden Ibru, and former MD CEO of Ashonic Bank, Mrs. Cecilia Ibru. Others are former Minister of Industry, Chief Nikki Akonde, former MD of Bank of Industry, Ms. Evie Nuputu, Chairman and Vice Chairman of Art of Life Foundation, Chief Ladi and Chief Mrs. Taiwo Taiwo, Senator Florence Itagiwa, Professor and Mrs. Pat Utomi, Dr. Sunny Kuku, and a host of other important guests.
beautiful occasion was crowned with an award of Ugo Ndigo, given to her by the Aka Ikenga Group. For someone who has gone through numerous challenges in life, Dr. Okoli says they only made her stronger. Chike was my, uh, the last child I had. Suddenly, one morning, two days after I returned from China, I kept saying, where is Chike, where is Chike? You know, breakfast, breakfast. I didn't know that Chike had slum. He was exercising, you know, and then uh, he passed away from undetected cardiovascular, you know, illness. So what do you do? Friends gathered together when I said, I want to have a foundation. Before you know it, everything was put together and we founded the foundation for him. And since then, through the goodness of people, the foundation is waxing from strength to strength. It's founded on two uh, prongs. One is entrepreneurship, which is Chike's passion. And also, uh, there's a lot of uh, community work we do on um, cardiovascular. We, we work with a team of um, doctors, pharmacists, nurses, volunteers, and we go awareness. You know, when people are aware, the risk will be less. Chief Mrs. Tyro Tyro saw to the cutting of her beautiful cake. Jesus Christ, the Fruitful and impactful years ahead, her son, Emeka Okoli, proposed a toast. Your constant um, inspiration to not only to be a woman, but to many other people. So we say thank you. include traveling, listening to good music, and dancing. I love dancing. Dancing was introduced to us very, very early in life because we were in the north, we were in Kano, but they sent us to school in the east. They sent me. Some of my brothers and sisters didn't want to go. But, you know. And when we come back, our parents' duty to organize a lot of fun for us. So our holiday period was very pleasurable. One of them was dancing, dancing competition. I used to come first or second. 
If I won't confess, my Balanya Chiba will confess. And that's how, you know. <laughs> Is that for, because I actually saw you dancing that day. You were. I wish I could dance. I'm flying. Yeah, I love it. At 70, Dr. Okoli is still a good cook. Yes, I cook. You still cook. Yes, I want to cook. Age, age has nothing to do with anything, like cooking. No, it has nothing to do. But you know, this is what is cooking. You roast. You put it. You turn it. You know. You can cook. Uh, everything is easy, you know, not easy now. Vegetable and all that. Depends on what you want to cook. A musician, Jay Martin's got for celebrating friends dancing all night long. Hello, Northern Nigeria, to the family of Chief Felix Ibelechuku and Princess Margaret Modebelu of Neri in Anambra State, Dr. Stella Okoli attended All Saints Primary School, Onija, from 1954 to 1959, and Ogidi Girls Secondary School from 1959 to 1964. That same year, she moved to Federal Science School in Lagos and passed out in 1966. She later proceeded to University of Bradford in the United Kingdom, from where she obtained a bachelor's degree in pharmacy. This academic achievement was followed by an MSc in biopharmaceutics, which she obtained from University of London in 1971. She incorporated MZ Pharmaceutical Industries Limited in 1984, which is known to be a leading producer of a wide range of drugs with over 70 other line of products. She is a mother and a grandmother. 